All right, Halos, welcome back. How's everyone doing? We are back in the patch notes once again. Uh, it's going to be patch 14.19 today, and we have Drew joining us again, as always. How's it going, Drew? Oh, what's up? Uh, it's going good. <laughs> Okay. All right, we got the. Uh, I don't know if it's supposed to be the game-changing patch. I don't think it is, but um, uh, it's definitely a big one uh, in terms of items, at least. So a lot of things going to be changing. I'd say meta, meta changing in my opinion. But uh, obviously, this is the after worlds patch, so none of this will matter for competitive, really. Um, but yeah, either way, uh, we are a little bit late. Sorry about that. That's my bad. Uh, we weren't able to sync up the schedules super early as I had hoped. But that's okay. Uh, sp split three is coming this time around, and we've got a bunch of stuff. So um, they have a, a huge system update, uh, nerfing almost every legendary item in the game between five to ten percent, twelve percent. So fun, yep. fun. <laughs> yep. uh, but yeah, they just got the overview, of course. We got some uh, Fright Night skins. Cool. I thought it, was, it said Fright Night uh, Jinx, but it was actually Fright Night Zary. So feels bad, but it's. Uh, I also thought it was Jinx, just from like the. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like splash, but it exactly. Is. But yeah, anyways, they fooled us both, I guess. Gotcha. Uh, ultimate spell book is coming back. Um, still choose a one of four alternate. You offered more ultimates throughout the game. Huh, interesting. And they've like balanced it a bunch. Uh, Baron spawns in like half the time, kind of, and stuff like that. So, interesting. Uh, honor updates. Brand new honor voting experiences live for players in point in fourteen nineteen. Starting this patch, players will be able to honor both teammates and enemies, as well as up to four players per game. Now you'll be able to honor all those who have played honorably and contributed positively to sportsmanship in the game. So yeah, I really like that. Uh, finally getting some of the old kind of honor system back in a way. Um, mm -hmm. Which is really cool. I always felt like, you know, just one person honors, like, I don't know, it feels like not enough, to be honest. Because uh, sometimes there's like at least two or three maybe people that are doing really good, or sometimes an enemy is nice. So now you can honor enemies as well. So there you go. Uh, my bad interactive emote so apparently um it says so did you face check a bush and gray screen still a kill steal a kill from your teammate by mistake accidentally waste a summoner we're adding a lighthearted way to express your team that you've made an error using the i keybind will trigger this emote and your team can press i to let you know everything's okay if everyone responds the emote will transform into a celebration for the whole team a little apology can go a long way so kind of like i never say it's okay <laughs> what's that I said I've seen it a few times. I never say it's okay. Oh, I damn. just let them. Uh, I just yeah, let them say my bad, and I just, mess. That's I just leave it there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, you're right. It is your bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, but yes, uh, ranked split three has started um, as of this recording, and yeah. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else special? Yeah. No, just the normal stuff. Um, ward experience. So uh, they're taking away all ward experience. So stealth wards gives zero now. Farsight yep. alterations get zero, and then uh, stuff that like fiddle six effigy and stuff already already were granting zero, so they're just mentioning that just as well. But yeah, um, yes, yeah. yeah, champion. So let's start up with Elise. We got a completely out of left field champion change here. I know. Uh, I haven't seen Elise in like a game in a million years. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, passive Spider Queen. So Spiderlings always regenerate to full health when resummoned. That's nice, actually. I kind of like that. Um, spiderlings jump on Q spell cast rather than waiting for at least to land on target. Oh, that's also pretty nice, actually. Okay. Um, and then Q venomous bite. Uh, targets, target gets revealed for a short duration while at least gets to them. Okay. Uh, that's in her like human form, I believe. And then E cocoon now reveals stealth units and shared its duration shares its duration with stun duration. Okay. And you can now flash during the cast to redirect co 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 Cocoon. Oh, flash during the cast. Interesting. I'd probably have to see that in the game to understand that one, but yeah, kind of interesting. Uh, I remember you could, like, I'm pretty sure you could you could buffer it before your flash before, right? So, uh, yeah, yes. Uh, anyways, uh, E-Repel. Repel buff is all, now always applied after descending. And, okay, yeah, makes sense, I guess. Uh, after one second in the air, Elise can recast E or target the ground to immediately drop back to, at her location. After one second. So it has a little bit of a, a little bit of a wait, I guess, now? I'm not exactly Yeah, sure. one second in the air, can recast. I think... I think that was insane, though. I feel like it might be... 
faster? I can't remember how long she had to stay in the air before. I don't know, maybe... Yeah, I can't remember. I wish it said, because you could recast it to come back down. Um... Yeah, maybe. Okay. Anyways, uh, yeah. the R spider form cooldown is now 3 seconds instead of 4, so just a little bit quicker. Um, yeah, just some nice like quality of life, it feels like, overall uh, changes, but yeah, there you go. Pretty nice for her, actually. Uh, yeah, alright. We got our big I'm... boy. Um, they changed everything, so have fun. <sighs> yeah, I know, you did this to me on purpose. The Sante <laughs> patches. Um, alright, <laughs> stick with me here. They uh, They changed literally everything again as they do with this guy so um i guess before i do all the numbers i i was like reading this massive wall of text and it sounds like they're trying to um make him more dependent on player skill um okay. and have it be like harder to pop off and more uh uh punishing like if you mess up mm -hmm. but so, so that's kind of like their uh, goal, I guess you would say. That's, that's their their goal. So we'll see if they actually manage to do that uh, right. with all these changes. But uh, okay, I guess we get into base stats. Um, very easy. Just down 25. Easy. So his range is down. Um, right. Which actually, when you're talking about attack range, that's it might not seem like a lot, but it's kind of a lot. Yeah, definitely. Uh, that's big. Yeah, 25 range is, is, is he's going to be have to get especially a lot closer. For melee champ. Especially for a melee champ. Um, his passive is, used to do 5 to 20 damage. Now it just does 20 flat damage um, right away. Wow. And then instead of this like multi-tier target percent health, it's plus 1 to 2% target's maximum health instead of like 1, 1. 1.3, 1.62. So it's like basically the same, it's just the flat damage is there immediately. So this just does more I guess more damage, no matter what. Um, and then they added something new. Uh, now his passive causes Cassante's abilities and passive to deal an additional 1% damage plus 1% per 100 bonus resist of target's maximum health as physical damage while all out. Um, so it basically replaces, so when he goes all out, um, he doesn't do true damage anymore. Okay. Um, he doesn't do increased damage and he doesn't, this is kind of important. He doesn't get bonus attack range. That's big. So yeah, that is pretty big. Um, but he does do more just kind of straight damage based on resists and stuff so um i guess this this is just like a buff overall because of the flat damage on the normal passive um what do you think with the all out changes is it a buff or a nerf i feel like it is maybe a nerf because the true damage and the attack range were were pretty nice but um, yeah i don't remember how much the the previous one so i don't know but um, yeah i feel like this is new scaling with your uh bonus yeah. resist, although it is per hundred so it's not like i don't know it's big yeah. but it's small i don't know um yeah. it seems like a slight buff but it's also like pretty heavily nerfed um i don't know yeah, yeah it's hard yeah we'll have to see what they do with the rest of it maybe they make up for it somewhere else yeah um, probably an overall nerf but i don't know yeah yeah, yeah. okay and tofo strikes so they just bring down the mana cost, actually to 20, which is pretty big, because okay. even at rank 1 before, it was 28, so yeah. it's just way less mana all the time. True. Um, and then the damage, it was 30 to 130, now it's 70 to 190, Ooh. and it doesn't scale off AD at all. It That's does nice. still scale off of resistances um, a little bit better than before. So I think this is probably just good. I think um, it's better, yeah. I think this is better, yeah, because... You can build tanky and just do more flat damage, so that feels good. Yeah. I don't um, think he really, does he build AD items? I don't think he does. I'm pretty sure that it's just much. straight tank <laughs> items, so I Yeah. Okay. So I don't think I don't think he was really getting a lot of use out of that forty percent AD. Yeah, so I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. This seems fine. Uh the cooldown was three point five to one point seven five. Oh wait, wait, that's... wait. That's just eighty though, it's not bonus. So I guess it would take his his, his base anti too. Oh maybe true, 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 true. Maybe it doesn't nerf. 
True, 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 true. Yeah, it could be a slight... I'm sure there's like a breakpoint where it is a nerf. Yeah. But I think early it's probably a buff. Seems like. With the flat damage. Um, the cooldown is getting increased. It used to be 3.5 to 1.75. Now it's 3.5 to 2. Um, so slightly increased. Okay. Um, all out cooldown modifier reduced by one second within 1.3 second minimum is now reduced by 33%. Um, all right. So the cooldown reduction, uh, it's, uh, I'm, I, I'm gonna have to do the math, but Seems I feel like, like a nerf. I feel like it's a nerf because but you maybe were late maybe late game, yeah, because you were you were reducing a full second, but now, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's probably a actually nerf no. Until I think it's a buff early then because th it's just this is one third of your cooldown at at almost four seconds, which would be more than one second, right? I think. It'd be oh, true, 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 true. You're especially early. So yeah, nerfed, yeah, like, yeah. I don't know. Okay, something like that. Yeah, I think it could be. It could be a buff then. <laughs> Math. You have to be a PhD in math to put yeah, Asante in yeah. um, Or BLS. Yeah, yeah or BLS. Yeah, actually, yeah, <laughs> listen to everything that we're saying here, and then pause and go watch his video for this section, the and then yeah. and then come back. Yeah, because that's probably what I'll do. <laughs> watch he'll, okay. he'll just be like, oh yeah, because Asante changes. Uh, he's just worse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then just skips yeah. on. <laughs> yeah, yep. that's probably what I. Yeah, he'll do. Um, okay, so cast time. Um, it used to be 0. 0.45 to 0. 0.25. Now it's 0.45 to 0.35. Um, it now scales off of resistances instead of health. Mm, okay. No longer has reduced cast time while all out. Once again, slows enemies hit while all out. So that's kind of nice. It brings the slow back when he's alting. Um, the width of the attack is a little bit smaller. And so it'll be a little bit harder to... And it doesn't reset you all. So it seems like it'll be a little bit harder to hit. Um, it will reward you a little bit more, at least early, I think, when you do hit it. But yeah, so maybe that, but it, but it's like harder to hit. Um, so yeah, okay. Cool. Wow. <laughs> cool. All right. Uh, is, I think just worse overall. I think it's just worse. I, so far, I think it's just worth, worse. Yeah. Um all right. crazy. This I feel like is big. Uh, yeah, too. Pathmaker. So we've got the damage, which used to be twenty to hundred. Now it's forty to one twenty. So flat damage up. Um it used to be eighty five percent bonus resistance and then some scaling percent off of their target's max health. And now it is eight percent plus two percent per 100 bonus resistance targets max health. So, and there's no AD scaling again, yeah. which maybe similar to before, it's not, he didn't build AD, so it's just really his base AD. But I feel like, I feel like this, that's a nerf, I feel like. It seems like a nerf. Maybe, yeah. maybe again, damage nerf. and then yeah. just nerfed after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it now deals a maximum of 180 to 500 damage against monsters. Jungle um, Sante? Jungle Cassante, that's what I'm thinking. And the cooldown <laughs> is actually down significantly. It's oh, down wow. 10 at rank 1. Wow. Um, and then down pretty sizable, even at max rank. So 10 seconds at max rank instead of 16. Um, the cast time is 0.4 instead of 0.75. So cast quicker and maximum cast time. Because you could hold it. This is the one where you can like channel it, basically. Um, so now it's instead of half, a second and a half, it's just a second. So it's quicker to come out. Cooldown's way reduced. So basically, he's going to be able to spam this mm -hmm. um, a lot more than he used to be able to. Um, you don't have to fully charge it anymore. That's crazy. Yep, you don't have to fully charge it anymore. Uh, stun duration is down, and it is based off of how far he charges, which I kind of like that change. That's fine. Um, that's fine. And Cassante can no longer change his direction after casting the spell. While in all out, it deals an additional 0 to 110% of its damage is true damage. So, 
I think that might be making up for... I think it's more spammable, but less damage this is per crazy, attack. This by the way. <sighs> so you used to be able to just cast it and then, like, Irelia W, just choose yeah. the direction after while you're casting. Uh-huh. But now it's just... You, you just have you're to like... pick a direction at the start of the, the cast. I think it's like it's probably it. like Orn, like Orn charge, right? Like uh, you, wait, like he can't change it, right? Like you just like channel the little Orn charge, and then he just goes. Oh yeah, yeah, kind of feel, yeah. Yeah, so it's it's gonna feel more like that, like if you just go in the direction you pick. Um, That's crazy. I think it might it gets back some of its damage when he's alting, but yeah, yeah. Which makes see, what's sense. tricky is it does. It seems like it's a big damage nerf potentially, but it's a lot more spammable, so it's like hard to say. Yeah, nerf I buff, would but... still say it's just worse. I think so. <laughs> but... Well, I think I think the direction changing thing being gone is like it makes it way huge less huge difference. Useful, yeah. Um, you have to predict wonder... what what is it? Uh, one second in the future, at least. <laughs> at yeah, least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a lot harder than just picking it in a moment so yeah. okay um footwork these cooldowns look almost the same 10.5 <laughs> to 8.5 and now it's okay they just kind of rounded it off so it's yeah. 10 to 8 okay <laughs> um it has 50 percent reduced cooldown while an all out that's pretty nice uh no increased range doesn't have a reset so that's pretty big uh no more reset mechanic for his basic. Um, no longer goes over walls while all out. Um, I don't play or play with enough Cassantes to know which walls he could and couldn't go over. Yeah, I mean, he's um, pretty big. <laughs> but, for yeah. Sure. And then the dash speed. Look at that. I mean, it's 900 down to 500. So dash speed nice. ally unchanged. Yeah. All out dash speed is up a little bit. So he's a little bit more maneuverable when he's all out, when he's alting. When he's not, it's a little bit worse. Um, yeah. I do think it might be. It's I, don't, I don't know how. After two, two boots. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's. I don't know how big of a deal of not going over walls is going to be for the E specifically. Probably like not, it's not too crazy, but. Yeah. So, so I think it's just a buff when he's in alt form. But. Yeah, after you get the boots for sure, maybe. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's my. This Things is the first one where I feel like. This is the first one where I feel like it's better than worse out of the Q and the W and E. But this though, the re auto resets <laughs> is like the main reason people even use this ability. I feel. Yeah, actually, actually, that's so true. I'm just looking at the numbers, but I but forgot. Yeah, yeah. That long. yeah the, the numbers the reset. Do yeah, I don't know if they make up for the reset though, because you're right, their reset was Probably was huge. Not. Yeah. So. All right. I know they said they wanted to make them more like yeah, this is less skill, skill based, but it just feels <laughs> like they're taking away the skill and making them worse. But okie dokie. Interesting. Um, last ability is alt all out. Um, used to be seventy to one hundred and fifty. Now it's eighty to one hundred and fifty. Um, and it does physical instead of magic damage, and it doesn't scale off of AP, hmm. which again. Other the scaling is what is this damage from? Like when he presses the button or when he like the bonus damage he gets from his Q or what? I don't remember it dealing damage unless you like start hitting. <laughs> yeah. Am I crazy? Oh, is it you know what it could be? Isn't it like when you Oh yeah yeah. No 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 you're when right. you like take them, you, you like take them, like hit you hit them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, right, your that's initial right. when you hit them and it like blasts them somewhere with you, this that's the first damage off yeah, front. Yeah. yeah. That's right. That's yes. right. My bad. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> um Okay. So zoom physical now, and there's no AP scaling on it, which makes sense. So it's physical it's damage only. So yep, it's just worse. Um follow-up damage is also gonna not be AP based. Um it's just gonna be Scaling off bonus health and it's physical, so I think that's also just probably worse. Um, it only lasts for 15 seconds instead of 20. You think it? You think it might be better with the bonus health? Yeah, because he builds tanky, so like mid to late game is better. But other than that, it's oh oh oh. You know what? I, I my brain was going health of the target. Oh yeah, you know, yeah it's yeah. his health. Yeah yeah yeah. So, yeah, so yeah. that might be okay. Because I was like, well, he on squishies a lot, so it's not. No, you're right. Yeah, it's 
his bonus it's health. Better so. later, yeah. Better later, yeah. No, you're right on that. Um, duration <laughs> is down by five, um, so it lasts long, but less time. That's five seconds is a lot in a team fight. Yeah. Um, attack speed. That's a buff. So it, twenty-five to forty-five. It's forty to eighty. So he's going to attack way faster. Um, it now grants armor pen. 50%. Omnivamp, 20%. Whoa. Um, which, okay, so he's going to hit crazy fast, penetrate armor, and heal. Um, <laughs> but it doesn't grant attack damage based on his resistances. It doesn't grant healing equal to damage dealt, but he has the Omnivamp, so it's probably makes up for it. Okay. And then it can't, can no longer be reacted at 10 early. Will now properly reduce resistances. Oh, show. Okay. Well, I'm going to say, and take this with a grain of salt, and probably go watch LS, <laughs> I think that it is just going to be worse for Cassante. Yeah, um, overall. Overall. But they did say, all the way at the top, um, the one that I did notice was, we. Ex- they said something like, we expect changing him this significantly is going to take some, like, growing pains to relearn. Uh, yeah, yeah. But I... I don't know if it will. I just feel like they made him worse. <laughs> like I don't know. If, yeah. I don't know that it's necessarily like his kit is way harder. Um, other than maybe like having to predict the 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 W, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't play I enough mean, on the side, but I think <laughs> Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Basically yeah. like he's just nerfed all around. Yeah. But uh <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see. We will, we will. But Maybe that is be your, like Zeri, uh... it doesn't matter how many nerfs, he's just he's good. But I feel like this is pretty, pretty. And if you don't, if you don't care about Cassante at all, uh, just skip the last ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> You'll get that time back because Quite when they change ten this... minutes, <laughs> yeah, when they change this dude, they literally have to change everything. So there you go. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, I think it's more counterplay is added to him, which is nice. Yes, I do. I think so, yeah. But yeah, I don't know. Okay. Anyways, uh, Tristan is up next. We got a, a small slew of, of changes here. Um, so we've got uh, base stats going. Uh, this is like the like mini rework, I think. Uh, yes. So attack range um, is uh, 550 from 525, so that's a lot better, which is really nice. That's actually pretty big for her. Um, and then basic attack range or damage rather is up by one no big deal but nice attack damage growth was 3.7 now it's 2.5 which is a big nerf um and then health regen growth was 0.65 and now it's just 0.5 so also a nerf um sizable but not crazy armor growth was 4.5 to 4 um attack speed ratio was 0.679 now it's 0.694 so that's just better which is really nice ratios are big on ATCs especially yes. and then a passive draw bead is getting a little less range but you gotta remember she's got he's got she's got 50 more total so while you're losing what is this 11 at max range yeah. basically and of course this scales over to over time but um um yeah it's like you're still getting what plus 13 basically is yeah, I think it's it's, the yeah, it's game. more range overall. And um, the attack speed ratio is big, pretty big, like I said. So, uh, plus it'll also help with this. So Q rapid fire is also going up. Uh, so attack speed was 50 to 110. Now it's uh, 60 to 120 percent. So just straight up plus 10 percent buff for the attack speed at every rank. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Uh, w rocket jump got the slow down from 60 percent to forty percent, so it doesn't slow as much. Which forty is pretty small, so it's not going to be super great for the slow. Um, and then the slow duration was one second to three seconds based on rank. Now it's just flat two seconds, so it's better early, worse late. Uh, damage was ninety five to two ninety five flat, uh, and now it's seventy to two ten flat. So the damage went down quite a bit on the actual. W like rocket jump landing, and then it was plus 50% AP, it still has that, but now it has a plus 75% bonus AD scaling, so um, that's pretty much just better overall. Um, yeah, especially after you get like probably what a an couple item items, or two, yeah, two yeah. Or three, yeah, especially it's like pretty good, yeah. So overall, 
kind of neutralized, but I'd say at least more damage, and that's really what she cares about the most. She doesn't care about the slow as, as much, um, though it is super nice. Uh, and then <clears throat> E, Explosive Charge. Um, passive Explosion Damage is going down a little bit in damage. So at rank 1, it's down by f uh, 10. And then at rank 5, it is down by 50. Um, so it was 55 to 155. Now it's 45 to 105. But the active damage was 70 to 110. Now it's 60 to 100 flat. So down by 10 at every rank on the active damage. Um, <clears throat> and then... Uh, 50, let's see, the it was plus 50% to 150% bonus AD break based on rank, and now it's plus 100, so just huge buff there, uh, to 140% bonus AD, AD, so at late game, at, well, not really late game, but yeah, just at max rank, it'll be a little bit less damage overall, yeah, but yeah. early, it's it's just straight up buff. And then the AP scaling is unchanged, um, that's for the explosion, obviously, for the, the actual charge, um, this is, of course, for the uh, wave clear kind of so she's losing a little bit of power in that but it's fine so actually this might help her to be honest because sometimes she overclears waves and messes up oh, her cs really? that way so oh, really? i want to i kind of wonder how that will, will go out but anyways um <laughs> critical strike mod modifier also is getting changed so the damage it says damage the old one is damage is multiplied by 1.0 to 1.33 times based on critical strike chance. 33% more damage at 100% crit strike chance. Now it's damage is multiplied by 1.0 to 2.15, so a pretty big uh, jump there based on crit strike chance and critical strike damage. Um, so it also uh, factors in like IE basically. So it says uh, basically the TLDR is 75% more, dam more uh, damage at 100% crit strike chance, and then 115% more damage at 100% crit uh, chance and an infinity edge. So once you get crits, this is going to scale even better, basically. But yeah, the flat damage is down a little bit, uh, which is not doesn't really mean much. Um, in fact, it's pretty much nothing uh, since this is all scaling off bonus AD. So yeah. Um, all in all, but... it's just better overall, but your your wave clears a little worse. Yeah, which, I, which could be okay. And I like that they added a little stun to the alt that's kind of... Oh yeah, super nice. So could yeah, be, the, be pretty nice, yeah. The uh, R Buster Shop, yep. Uh, the new, it's adding a stun, so it was uh, no stun, obviously, before. Now it's 0 0.4, and then at rank 2, it's 0 0.55 seconds of stun, and then at rank 3, it's 0, uh, 0 0.7 seconds of stun, so... Not super long, but it's definitely nice. I'm wondering, is this during travel, like as you're being knocked back, or is this after you get knocked back? I think it's I thought, during, right? I read it. I read it so that you couldn't like like, like get out or something, of the, right? Yeah, 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 exactly. Like, well, well, you're well I guess it would still work now because it's plenty of stun. But anyways, yeah, yeah, I'm not sure 100, percent but either way, uh, it does have that little quality of life kind of thing there. It says the cooldown was 120 to 100, 100 based on rank of her, her ult. Now it's just 100 flat, so just straight up better there. Uh, the damage is also getting nerfed a bit. Um, was 300 to 500 um, based on rank. Now it's 275 to 375, but it also now scales with plus 70% of bonus 80. So better later game, but um, early game it's a, it's a bit of a nerf, I guess. But uh, this is level 16 anyway, so I'm pretty sure that's yeah. just straight up better. I think so, because you'll have multiple three, two, three. Yeah. items at that point. Yeah, Definitely. <clears throat> and actually, it might just be straight up more damage the entire game, I think. Seven yeah, because it's only bonus. down... It's, it's, I feel like it's only down... Okay, level 6 or 7, one, you're going to have like components, uh, so I think it's just better. Yeah, yeah I think it's... Yeah. yeah, you can... You, cooldown's less, it has a little stun, more damage, so yeah, it's just better, I think. Yeah. So the Arston duration will help Tristana's ultimate apply full crowd control value even when her opponents are pushed into a wall. Much more common in bot lane. Oh, okay. So if they're pushed into a wall, it, wall it was less of, of knockback uh, distance, and they would have been stunned, stunned during the knockback. So uh, now they'll still get the okay, full that's duration. Nice. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's nice. nice. Okay, cool. Yeah, I like that. That's really nice, for sure. Or you like hit them into like a tower. Or, like, Yeah, it's good. Yep. It's good. 100%. Cool. All right. Um, okay. We got Same Vladimir. <laughs> yeah. I have two, actually. Um, and they are just changing the W. So healing is 60% less effective on minions, um, which is just the hit is sustain, 
um, in the little blurb above it says that W Max has been creeping up, and it basically just doesn't really do much to make him like a threat, but it just makes him like permanently un like unkillable. Yeah, it's uh, really hard to poke him at a lane, and it's really hard uh -huh. to like whittle him down at all because of this yep. before. So, so they're just hitting that like they're making it so it's not as good to just. Put tons of points in W, so yep, yep. I think that's fine. I really like it. It was very disgusting, to be honest. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, all right. Uh, so we got some item changes here. Uh, do you want to do like tag team kind of back to back here? Probably. Yeah, that's fine. All right. That's fine. Uh, so they've uh, says most items have had a major minor tooltip styling improvements in addition to all of the gameplay stat changes mentioned below. Uh, so components are up first. We got a bunch of a slew of items here to get through. So dagger is going down by 50 gold. So now it's just a, uh, 250 gold to buy it. So just straight up better. Yep. Uh, fairy charm also down 50. So also just better. Um, yes. to buy. Yep. <laughs> And then Sapphire Crystal, uh, total cost was 350, now it's 300, so just down by 50 again. And then the mana is actually going up by 50 as well, so just this, nice. this is like stonks. Yeah, buy okay. these. Double, double, double good now. <laughs> um, I This one, I don't actually know if it's good. So, needlessly, large rod down by 50 gold, but it loses 5 AP. Definitely worse. Um, I feel like you would gladly pay 50 gold for 5 extra AP, so I think this is a nerf. Yeah, hundred percent. That sucks. Yeah. Um, I guess since it is early game, it wouldn't matter as much late because you are going to be building this into an item anyway. But True. we'll see, we'll see yeah. how, what the AP items are nerfs. Uh, all right, uh, hex drinker. So the epic items is up next year. So hex drinker now going down by five magic resist. So it's twenty five. All right. Uh, Caulfield's warhammer just down fifty gold. Um, so it's ten fifty instead of eleven hundred. Let's go. Yep. That one's a buff. And then Scout's Slingshot, uh, also down by 200 gold. So instead of 800, 600, pretty big. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I think this item's not good. <laughs> but, I'm warming up is, to it slowly. Yeah, I'm warming up to now that it's 600. So it's just a little, <laughs> a little bit better now. Yeah. Um, Heartbound Axe is down by 100, so 1200. So also just a buff. Feels good. And then uh, Noon Quiver, the recipe is getting changed. Uh, now it's just one long sword, one cloak of agility, and 350 gold. Uh, the total cost was 1400, now it's 1300, so straight buff. And then the attack damage is down by five, which does kind of suck. Um, but yeah. it's not the biggest of deals overall. Yeah. Uh, Rec Trick. I think this is fine. You lose five attack damage. But the cost is down over 100 gold. So instead of 900, it's 775. Mm. So yeah, uh, okay. I think it's I think the amount they overduce the gold, I think makes up for the loss of five damage. But I'm not sure. But it, yeah, that it's it's probably fine. Yeah. Well, what like uh, it would have to be 175 worth of gold is about 580 because right, it's 350. Yeah. Yeah. So not quite. In, if you're if you're measuring it by that, but yeah, it's definitely definitely interesting. Uh, Zeal is up uh, from 1100 to 1200 gold, so that one's a bit of a nerf. And then it's also got the movement speed nerfed uh, from five percent to four percent. So double nerf. Yeah, that's a rough one. Uh, Oblivion orb. Uh, this one feels bad. Oblivion orb nerf five AP. That still costs the same. Yeah. What is that? Well, that's like 1300, right, or something like that. Yeah, or... it's not. Right. I think it's something else. Wait, Oblivion Orb is 800. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah. I think so. Yeah, it's the Grievous Wounds, right? Yes. Okay. Eh, it's not terrible, I guess, but... It's not too bad, because you are buying it for the Grievous Wounds, so... Yeah. I guess you're okay to lose a bit of AP if it's still... Of course, though. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Aether Wisp uh, is up 50 gold, and it is down 1% of movement speed, so it's 4% movement speed and 900 cost. Uh, Codex is down 50 gold, so that's just a buff. Nice, nice. And then Verdant Barrier is now just 25 magic resist instead of 30. Um, not that big of a deal, but definitely hurts for sure. Yeah, Arm Guard down. It was his 5 ability power. Um, I think it's fine. You're basically just still getting it for the passive, but it's still a nerf because cost yeah. is the same. Yeah. <laughs> 
uh, wing to moon plate, uh, health was 150, now it's 200. And then move speed was 5%, now it's 4%. So, uh, I, I'm okay with it. That's, that's just better for me, <laughs> I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit more health. Um, this is a buff on Glacial Buckle, Buckler. Uh, 20, oh, yeah. So, 5 extra armor and 50 extra mana. Um, okay, yeah, fine. That's really nice. NASA's compensation buffs. Just kidding. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Uh, Warden's Mail Rock Solid was a flat five, and then it, it was scaling off of plus three point five per uh, three point five per no no just flat uh, per one thousand HP, and now it's just fifteen. So I'm pretty sure this is just better. Um, yeah. It, yeah, and it, it only now affects uh, champion damage. So I think it used to do uh, minions too and monsters and stuff. So uh, I don't think that's a big deal though. No, I don't think so either. I think it's fine. Uh, Bramble, okay, buff. Does 10 damage instead of 6. Love that. That's disgusting. All right. yep, yep, love that. <laughs> Ramus um, is, uh, is psyched. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Bobby Cinder, the health was 200, now it's 150, so nerf. And then Immolate was 13, flat, plus 0.5% of bonus HP. Now it's 15. Um... I think it's a nerf, but like maybe early game, it's a, it's a very tiny buff. It might it might be nicer jungle clear with the yeah, but yeah. a little bit more damage coming back. Yeah, hundred percent. The the it was twenty five percent of mini monster bonus damage. Now it's fifty percent, so yeah, doing one and a half times the damage. Of course, that yeah. Is, so it's that's really nice for wave clear stuff for sure. True. Uh, Negaton cloak. This is one of those where I feel like it's probably a nerf, even though it's down fifty gold. You lose five yeah. magic resist, so I think you would like gladly want to just wave an extra fifty to get more resist. So I think it's yeah. a nerf. Not not great. And then Spectre's Cal magic resist also going actually going up uh, ten magic resist. So it was twenty five, now it's thirty five. That's pretty nice. Uh, okay, let's go. Love this. This is a support component. Uh, Band of Glass is now nine hundred. So get that a little nice. bit faster. Add some extra money yeah. for some pink boards, all that good stuff. Yeah. Um, and the mana regen is also up, so just double buff. A thousand is a lot for. for yeah. Tell me about for. it. Tell <laughs> me about it. Yeah, it's nice. Um, and then forbidden idol is going from eight hundred to six hundred total gold cost, so pretty nice. All right, cool. fighter items are up next, so yes. start us off. Okay, what's end? is let's see attack speed is going down to 50 55 magic resist is down to 45 from 50 and then the on hit damage is basically a nerf it used to be 40 to 80 now it's yeah. just 45 flat so this is just a nerf across the board to wit's end that's pretty crazy it yeah it's really pretty bad. it's pretty big pretty big nerf honestly yeah uh, all right, Eclipse is up 100 gold, so it was 2800, now it's 2900 gold to buy, and then uh, attack damage is going down by 10, so pretty pretty large nerf to Eclipse, I would say, overall. Yeah, geez, they're hitting the fighter items. Uh, oh, yeah. Chem Punk Chainsword uh, costs us up from 28 to 3100. Um, they are changing the recipe to. Executioners, Giant's Belt, and Warhammer, so they get rid of the Ruby Heart. Um, it gives you 450 health now, and 10 less attack damage. It gives you 45 instead of 55. Um, I don't know, because you do get more health, but you lose 10 attack damage, and I think... I guess it depends. I think it's just worse. I think it's worse. I think you probably, if you're a fighter, you're there are other ways. There are like better ways to get health. I think you were buying this for like the grievous wounds and the damage. Yeah, I would say so at least. I mean, yeah. it's nice health, but pretty. I don't know. Plus three hundred gold, plus minus ten AD. <laughs> pretty rough. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Experimental hex plate. Uh, so the recipe was Tunneler plus Hearthbound Axe uh, plus 550 gold. Now it's tunnel pl Tunneler plus Phage plus Dagger plus 500 gold. So um, I guess that's a slightly easier build path. Um, 
attack damage was 55, now it's 40, so losing 1580 on this buy, big boy. Uh, and then attack speed was 25%, now it's 20%, so 5% less attack speed. And then health is actually going up by 150 as compensation, but it's definitely not worth it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, pretty uh, rough. Pretty rough for hex. I don't even think it's really that good, but... No, I didn't. I don't really see almost anyone buy it, to be honest. Yeah, like Doctor, I think it's like the only one, right? Yeah, yeah, it's the only one. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, Hallbreaker recipe change up. It's instead of Retric, it's got Moonplate now. Okay. So Tunneler Moonplate pickaxe. Um, it loses a bunch of attack damage, so wow. sixty-five to forty now. It does get some health, three fifty to five hundred, so a good chunk of health back, but it loses a lot of attack damage. Loses one percent movement speed, and then these are okay. So melee on hit damage, one forty percent base AD. Now it's one twenty percent base AD, but it's five percent max health instead of three point five percent max health. So it could maybe scale up later to be better, but it's going to be worse early. Yeah, I think building HP obviously. Yeah. You're building HP. Yeah, yeah. Um, the ranged on hit damage, 70 base AD to 84 base AD. The scaling remains the same. And then the structure damage, 400% down to 300%. And for range, 200% up to 210. Um, I think... I don't know. I don't see Hullbreaker built too much since they like changed it from just... I'm fighting alone, or what was it? I, I'm, I'm hunting alone, or something. Remember, you used to ping it. Yeah, yeah. I would say that. So I don't see it built too, too much anymore since that changed. But um, let's see, melee bonus, cannon minion, super minion reset. Resist. Twenty to one thirty. Oh, resist. Yeah, twenty to one thirty-five. Seventy to one thirty. So that's nice. I don't yeah. know. It's it's rough. You're losing twenty-five AD. Uh, one move move speed is not that big of a deal, but the melees are getting nerfed quite yeah. a bit overall. I would and say. I think I'm trying to think like who I still see build it, and it is like melee split push. Still. Yeah, like you were. So I think it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nasus so I think maybe. it is just a nerf overall for that purpose. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. Um, it's kind of weird, but I I'd say overall in there for sure. Um, yeah. And then at least the. The gold cost didn't change, so that's good. But, true, uh, true, true, true. Pretty, pretty heavy nerfs, I would say overall. And then it's slightly better for your it's the minions <laughs> that you yeah. buff. But, <laughs> uh, cl Black Cleaver kind of sucks. Black Cleaver uh, recipe getting changed, and then attack damage is down by 15. So kind of rough for Black Cleaver. Yeah. Maul of Maul and Mortius. 10 less attack damage. And the lifeline shield is way less scaly. So, yeah, just a big. big nerf damage and survivability nerf overall. Yeah, and then Spear of Shojin, uh, we've got attack damage down by 10, haste completely removed, um, and then health up by 150, but basic ability haste up by 10 as well. So, uh, overall, I would say a nerf personally. Um, because you're losing 20 haste for all your abilities, and then you're only getting 10 back in return for only three of your abilities. So, and with the the minus 1080 is pretty rough, I would say overall. But it's situationally okay, I guess. Yeah. Um. Hundred Sky. Recipe. They are just adding in a ruby crystal. Um, instead of like 850 gold, it's ruby crystal and 500 gold. Um, five less attack damage, 10 less, or five less haste, 50 less health, and then the heal is nerfed by 20%. So just like, everything about it nerfed top to bottom. Sundered Sky. Yeah, pretty, pretty rough, but uh, not as big of a deal as some of them, I guess. True. Um, and then Blade of Rune King down by 1080, so it was 50, now it's 40 attack damage. Pretty sizable, but not too big of a deal, I guess. Yeah, they didn't change the cost at least. So. Yeah. 
Um, whereas Death Sands, they did. They just made it 100 gold more expensive, so just a nerf. Yeah. Yep. Um, I don't even know who buys that anymore. <laughs> I don't either, to be honest. Uh, Sterix Gauge. The claws that catch was 50% base AD. Now it's 45% base AD. I think it's like the the bonus AD you get from the passive, I think. And then, I think so, yeah, yeah. Uh, Slice Life Shield was 80% of bonus HP. Now it's 60% of bonus HP, so pretty big nerf on that as well. Um, I don't remember what Temper was, but Stridebreaker, 10 less damage <laughs> and 5% less attack speed. Uh, I assume Temper was like did something useful, so um, nerf. It was a nerf on Stride Breaker. It might have well. given you the move speed when you hit someone or something. Ooh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I feel like that's probably honest. what it was. <laughs> that sounds right. But yeah, uh, pretty rough. Um, I'm okay with it though. I don't really like that item very much, so nerf it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Ravenous Hydra, 70 to 65, so losing 5 AD, losing 5 haste, and then Crescent Damage was 100% of AD, now it's 80% AD, which is pretty rough. Um, and then Crescent Life Steal Effect, this was 150%, now it's just 100%, so pretty large nerfs, I would say, overall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. We'll see if similar, I assume, for Titanic. Um, changing the recipe to include a Giant's Belt. Uh, 10 less attack, 50 more health, and the cleave damage is down 0.5% max HP scaling. So uh, just a big loss in damage, both the cleave and the just damage it gives. Yeah, certainly. Yep. Kind of rough. Yep. And then Overlords of Blood Mail uh, was attack damage was 40, now it's 30, so it's losing 10 there, and then it's getting, getting 5, 50 health as return, which is... Not great, but it's something at least, I guess. <laughs> yeah, okay. Trinity, Force. Um, it's down to 36 attack damage from 45. Haste is down 5. Uh, attack speed is down 3%, and health is up. Uh, it's like 3, 33%. Yep, <laughs> uh, but nerf this is a nerf. Yeah, it's just, just nerf pretty yeah. much overall. Yeah. Kind of yep, rough. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Uh, ADC items. So, Phantom Dance is up first. We got plus 50 gold. Not that crazy. But, uh, it loses 4% of its movement speed, which is pretty, pretty large. Um, so kind of rough, but honestly, in the end, it's not that big of a nerf. Could have been worse. Yeah. Um, very similar. Oh, the next two are actually identical, so I'll just do Navori and Runans. Um, they both are 50 more gold, so they both cost 2, 6, 2650 and they're both down to four percent bonus uh four percent movement speed from seven percent so each one up 50 gold and it loses three percent movement speed um yeah. on both those items kind of, kind of rough but overall it could be worse <laughs> not yeah. too bad yeah not the worst uh, and the rapid fire cannon is very similar, just getting that oh, plus true. 50, 50 gold, and then minus three percent move speed, so that's just four percent. And then the energized damage, which is kind of rough, uh, actually goes from sixty to forty. So even though it barely did any yeah. damage before, it's going to do even less. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Mana moon. The attack well. damage is what down 05 percent yeah. of your max mana. Um, I might as well just do it. it's the same item. Muramana yeah. um, is same down 0.5% max mana, and you have the on hit damage and the on spell damage are being reduced as well. Uh, it's now 1.2 max mana on hit damage, and it's 4%, 3% max mana instead of. Well, there is that scaling though. So it used to be 3.5, 2.7, or 2.7% max mana, plus 6% bonus AD, mm -hmm. which I think would factor into more than what it would be now. Yeah, it would have been better, I think. I can't remember. <laughs> yeah. Because by the time you stack it up to get Mermana, you almost certainly had a decent amount of bonus AD. AD. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. All right, uh, Static Shiv. Uh, attack damage is going down by 5. Uh, attack speed also down by 5%. And then move speed down by 1%. So, honestly, not that bad. But uh, no. this item is kind of garbo anyway, in my opinion. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, it's not that good. Uh, Rage Blade, just down five, both attack and ability power. So, down five. Rough, but each. it's okay, I think. Yeah. Uh, Lord Dominus regards uh, going down by 10 attack damage. So it was 45, now it's 35 attack damage. Okay. Pretty rough. Oh, yeah. That's pretty rough for the same yeah. price. Uh, Mortal Reminder, up 200 gold and down 5% armor pen. So um, I do, I mean, you still build it if you need Grievous Wounds on your ADC, but it's just going to be, it'll yeah. feel worse though. I will say, um, Ever since they removed the Lord Dominic's uh, like Giant Slayer passive, basically, um, it's been pretty garbage and pretty much Mortal Reminder is just better in my opinion. But um, yeah, I think it's still the case. <laughs> yeah, I think so, probably. Uh, but yeah, did we already do this one? I can't remember. You said this what? one, right? Terminus. Uh, no, Mortal Reminder. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah sorry, yeah. Just good. Oh. sorry. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah, kind of rough. Uh, and then Terminus, uh, up by five, or no, down by five attack damage, my bad. Uh, so that's not too big of a deal, I don't think, but it's kind of, su- kind of surprised they nerfed that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Essence Reaver, down five attack damage, down five ability haste, and up 50 gold. So more cost, less stats. Yeah. Bad. Uh, Kraken Slayer, um... Attack damage going down by five, and then movement speed down by one percent, and then the on hit damage is getting hugely nerfed. Uh, so if it's for melees start to start with. Um, is 140 to 310 was the old one. Now it's 150 to 200. So like it's down by 110 damage later uh, at final rank, obviously. But and then of course this is 80 percent reduced for ranged. Um, so that's how much range damage the they do. But yeah, it's pretty pretty large nurse or kraken slayer i think it's definitely not a good first item anymore um yeah in my opinion which kind of I'm sucks. Not, i feel like we already did play the run Ken. yeah yeah it was uh they put it in fighter items and ADCs. oh right because right, just so, because yeah. okay okay i was like oh wait am i going crazy I feel like <laughs> no no, no. You're good. uh collector is up 200 gold and loses uh, ooh, lethality. Um, I think it will hurt a little bit because people were like rushing that first item, so yeah. the higher cost will definitely slow your build down a bit. It's going to be a pretty big nerf, I would say. Yeah. But uh, they want... Um, one thing is they said they want Yuntal, Wild Arrows, Hurricane, and Infinity, Infinity Edge to be good for auto-attackers, and then I think... Uh, okay, it's lower down... But they said they want uh, our starter items to be like Essence Reaver, Yuntal, and the Collector, pretty much. Oh. So they don't want um, like Kraken Slayer or uh, what's the other one? Stack Shiv to be like the main ones anymore. First items, yeah, yeah. Okay. But yeah, anyways, uh, Yuntal Wild Arrow is getting changed. The recipes get uh, changed a little bit. It's instead of Pickaxe, it's BF Sword, and then plus 600 gold instead of 925. So I don't know. I feel like it's worse, but I guess the combined cost is better. So eh. we'll see, I guess. But the bleed damage was 35% of total AD. Now it's just a flat 70. Um, I don't know. I think they said it's supposed to be better early, especially. Yeah. But I feel like this is mostly just worse. Yeah, well, maybe if you get it first, it's fine. But it will be worse later. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, uh, definitely a bit, of a, a bit of a nerf there, I'd say. Yeah, agreed. Uh, Scimitar, it's down to 100 gold. Um, so cheaper, nice. but you lose ten metrics, so that feels bad. Yeah, it's kind of rough, but you don't really buy it for that anyway, so that's okay. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna for the you're just gonna for the clums, so. Yeah, uh, yeah. Infinity Edge. We've got total cost is going from thirty four hundred to thirty six hundred. So, uh, yeah. they they said it shouldn't. It there's no reason it shouldn't be the tied for the most expensive item in the game. <laughs> yeah, I disagree, but uh, okay. Yeah, kind of rough. And then uh, attack damage is also down by 10 as well. So pretty, pretty rough um, overall for Infinity Edge as well. And we go into the Assassin's items. <laughs> All right. What do we got for the Assassin? So Glaive loses five haste. Um, still can do the ward killing. So I guess not the end of the world. Yeah, it's not too bad. You moves uh, going up by 100 gold for the cost. And then the recipe is changing a little bit. Uh, be a 
uh, added like a pickaxe in there, I think. And then <laughs> out of combat move speed was 40 or 20 based on if you're melee or ranged. Now it's just 20 for everyone, so pretty rough, especially for melee, obviously. But Yeah, true. Um, okay, opportunity. Loses 5 attack damage, loses 3 lethality, 1% movement speed, and the preparation lethality this is 10 flat so i guess that's the only part that's uh a slight better. buff yeah but the other stuff is worse yeah i think it's probably fine but yeah definitely definitely little touches for nerfs for there and then edge of night uh it's just going up by 200 gold so kind of rough if you want that spell shield true 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 a cyclo sword up 100 down five ability haste <laughs> uh and the hubis also down five ability haste as well axiom mark it loses five haste <laughs> and it gets five extra let's see plus point five so is this the reset on the ultimate, I guess? I think so, yeah. The... Against seconds? I think it's seconds, but I can't remember here. So, maybe better early and then worse after you get a few lethality items? Yeah, that's what it looks like. Yep. Uh, and then Cyrilda's Cyril Grudge. Uh, total cost is down 200, so that's pretty nice. Um, recipes changed a little bit, and then... Haste is up by five. They removed Rinker. Um, I can't remember what that was. But uh, <laughs> armor penetration is added to be 30% now. So I'm assuming that was probably the old version of armor pen. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, probably. Or something like Bro. that. <laughs> or maybe it was lethality. 15 lethality loss. Yeah, so I think it gave lethality yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, probably just better. I think it's better. This is the one that I think is just better. Yeah. Yeah. Fine, but we got one that's buffed. Um, everyone build. Everyone build Sereldas. <laughs> um, our last Hydra, uh, Profane Hydra, down 100 gold. So that's good. Uh, but you lose 10 haste. You lose 10% AD scaling on the cleave. Your cleave radius is down by 100. And uh, yeah, then. The heretical cleave is also 20% less AD and doesn't have the execute threshold, I'm assuming. So this one's just way worse. It, I'm pretty sure they're removing this as well, the increased damage if they're lower health. So That's, that's what I mean. Yeah, it's gone. I think it's just it deleted. That's, that's not there anymore. Crazy, right? yeah. yeah, so this item's just really bad, I guess. I hear I hear a lot of people really like this. So yeah, it's going to be pretty <laughs> big. Cough, Aatrox, cough. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, AP items is going to be up next. So we got Merle and Omicron. The recipe is obviously changed. Uh, total gold cost is up hugely. Uh, so it's now moving from support to, to AP, I guess, uh, to mage. Uh, okay, great. <laughs> um, so it was 2,200 gold. Now it's 2,950. Um, ability power was 90. Now it's 75. So that's 15 less AP, which is kind of rough. But it does get 350 health again. Like it used to, I'm pretty sure. So, I don't know. Probably, probably worse overall. But I think it's worse. And also, it feels bad now to build Oblivion Orb as a support because yeah, true. You're not really gonna want to finish it into this, I don't think. True, true. But okay, pretty rough. Uh, Rod right. of Ages ability power per minute three instead of four, then health per minute ten instead of twenty. So just less health, less ability power scaling. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah. Rally's Crystal Scepter, Scepter just down to 10 ability power, which is pretty rough, but yep. Yep. That's, that's okay. All right. Rocket Belt also down 10 ability power and you lose 50 health. So that's also kind of rough. Crazy. This item is garbage anyway. Why are you doing Yeah, it? you don't see it too much <laughs> in the game, so there you go. Uh, Malignant's recipe changing a little bit and then ability power up by 5 and a pace down by 10. Mm -hmm. So not really a worthwhile trade. No, not really. Um, Horizon Focus. They add in... It's this double Fiendish, Fiendish Codex plus an Amp now. 
Mm -hmm. um, so no alternator. And then ability, ooh, ability power down, 75. Beast up. I feel like not a good trade. He'll lose yeah, 15 I think it's a heavy nerf too, because this is really yeah. nice to have a spike before your item completes. Yep, agreed. That's crazy. All right, well. Uh, Blackfire Torch, ability power up or down by 10, uh, haste down by 5, and Baleful Blaze burn damage. The flat is going up by 15, so it was 45, now it's 60, but the AP scaling was 9%, now it's 6%, so late, worse later, slightly better early. Yeah. Um, Crypt Bloom, you lose 10 damage, or 10 ability power, and the heal is similar, maybe better early. But you yeah. lose uh, some scaling, 25% scaling, so it's going to be worse once you get a couple items hmm. on the heal. Interesting. But, I'm okay with it. <laughs> yeah, I think it might be fine. It might be like a kind of a okay support item. I mean, it is still pretty expensive, but yeah, uh, you can really stack AP anyway, so you might just take the flat. True, true. Health. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, Alright, Luden's Companion, the haste is down by 10, so it was 20, now it's 10. Pretty, pretty big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got Archangel Staff, down 10. Ability power, 80 to 70. Seeing him for Seraphs when it transforms. And the Life on Shield is down uh, 50, flat shielding. So, just a nerf to the Archangel's Seraphs. Uh, items yeah. there. Kind of rough, but not too terrible, I think. Uh, Storm Surge move speed was down 1%. Uh, Storm Raider movement speed was is down 10%. And Storm Raider duration is down uh, half a second. It's just 1.5 seconds for the duration. And then Squall damage uh, is up 10 flat, but down 5% AP. So uh, slightly better early, but overall just just, just worse all yeah. around. We've got 10 less ability power on Nashers. It's now 80 instead of 90. And then the on hit remains the same flat, but you lose 5% AP scaling. So just loss of damage early and then more damage loss as you as you go on. That's rough. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Leander's Torment down by 20 ability power. That's pretty you big. Just... <laughs> right. Cosmic Drive it says it's one of the best items in the game. Okay, <laughs> ability power is down by ten, movement speed down by one percent, uh, and then the spell dance movement speed burst to be forty to sixty. Now it's twenty for four seconds. Um, that's. I think that's fine. It lasts twice as long. It's just not quite as big of a burst. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I it's like situational. I actually think you would rather have the burst now that I think about it. Yeah, I think the 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 burst is better. But the yeah. I think the kicker is it's uh, any ability damage to a champion. Now it's only magic or true. True, 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 true. Well. Yeah. It shouldn't be too big of a deal, but it still can matter. Yeah, it could. Uh, all right, Banshee's Veil. Um, now it's just 1, 000, 100 gold cheaper, which is nice. Uh, ability power is down by 15, though, but it still is 105, so it's not too bad, I think. But yeah, it's it's large for sure. Um, Magic is down by 10 as well, and then the Anul cooldown, which is the um, spell shield, Next was, spell shield yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was 30 seconds, now it's 40, so that's pretty rough. Um, once again, so I would say overall just, just a lot worse. <laughs> yeah, agree. Um, Lichbane. Lichbane is getting the alternator pulled out of its recipe. Um, now it's needlessly large rod. Uh, it's 100 gold more. It does give you 15 more ability power, 5 less ability haste, and then the spell blade, the scaling ratio, down by 5%, and the movement speed down by 4%. Um... It's nice to get some more AP, but that's pretty rough. <laughs> I think the rest of it is pretty rough. So yeah, uh, yeah. Yep. yep, yep. With the hexag alternator too. Uh, Rift Maker is down by ten AP, and Void Corruption stacks only stacks of four now. So not great. 
Yep, yep, yep. Uh, Shadow Flint. Wait, uh, the stack it's thing the might stack be. Quicker. It's sex quicker, so the stack thing might be. Might be good, but the damage remember. is worse. <laughs> yeah, because it'll reach. I think it's. Doesn't it do something in max stacks? Maybe. Yeah, it gives you like Omni Vamp and uh, increased damage. Yeah, so you'll hit it quicker. So I guess that part of it is better. I think so. I think, yeah. Uh, Shadow Flame. Down to 110 ability power from 115. And uh, this is probably not the biggest deal. It only impacts, what, like three champions? But <laughs> the pet damage is down by 5%. So there you go. Yeah. Well, it's the dot as well, so... Um, oh, pet or dot damage. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. But go. I don't think it's too big of a deal. more than, yeah. yeah but, yeah. I mean, I know, dude, like, uh, Teemo and stuff like that, like the Leandry Caesars, obviously. True, is, true, true. Can definitely use it um, to an effectiveness. So it's probably bigger than it seems, but not too bad, I don't think. Yeah. Uh, Zanya's is down by 15 ability power. I'm okay with it, but, yeah, it's rough. You still have the passive, but, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then Ramadan's down 10 ability power and 5% scaling. Or that's like the AP amp. Uh, so if, instead of 35, yeah, it amps at 30%. Yeah, so that's pretty big. Pretty big nerfs. All right. And next up, we got tank items. So uh, Locket of the Iron Solari is down by 5 armor and 5 magic resist. Um, it's okay, but yeah, it's rough. Yeah, not too bad. But not too good either. No. <laughs> um, Zeke's is down 20 on the damage per second on wow. the little proc, so that's a lot because it's per second. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Knight's Vow is up 100 gold. That's rough, but it's okay. Yep. Okay. Uh, Frozen Heart gets 10 more armor, so that's nice. Uh, nice. Rock Solid is removed. And uh, Winter's Caress if the attack speed slow is champions only now, which I think that's that part's fine. I guess. Yeah, I think that's fine. I'm pretty sure. I don't remember what that means, but I'm pretty sure that's. Um... I mean, that's the that's the slow on auto attacks, right? Yes, yeah, slow on auto attacks. So, so it just I won't slow it... like minions attacking. I you. guess it did minions before. I didn't know that. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Interesting, but yeah, interesting. It's probably fine. Uh, Abyssal Mask. Uh, sorry, the gold is up one 150, and then you're getting five more aid, uh, haste, rather, and five less ma magic resist, and then they removed the unmake bonus magic resist. So when you have uh, someone that's being affected in your zone or whatever, um, you would get more magic resist for while they're, per, I think, per person that was in there, something like that. So yeah. just a lot of less magic right or is that the shred no no, no. the unmake it's the bonus mr that you get yeah it's the bonus MR. yeah yeah trailblazer not a lot of people build build this to be honest with you but it's 100 gold cheaper 50 more health a little bit less movement speed uh that one i feel like is probably just a buff but i don't know if people will build it still yeah i don't even remember that icon at all so surprised oh. that's a that's not a <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, Iceborne Gauntlet is going up by 400 gold. Um, it's getting the old Spellblade damage was 180, 100% AD. Now it's 150% AD, so it's a little bit better than just buying a sheen. Um, and then the slow was 50% and scaling off 0.004% of HP. Now it's flat 25%, uh, and then the still is half value for ranged champions. So. I don't know. I think it's better, but um, in terms of the slow, I mean. But yeah, I don't know. Kind of interesting. It is. It is. Uh, some fire, not keep. Each is. Um, <laughs> in immolate, fifteen to twenty flat, and the scaling bonus HP is down by point seven five. Uh, the bonus damage to minions is up to fifty. That's the same as the Bami Syndra. Cinder, right? They added the minion monster, or they added the yeah, yeah. monster bonus damage, yeah, so that increases um, damage no longer ramps against champions or epic monsters, so uh, okay, yep. Yeah, that's actually a pretty big deal, I'd say, at least the champion part. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. 
and they say be less useful in like a team fight, basically. Yeah, they don't want them getting damaged late game and stuff. So. Mm-hmm. Interesting for sure, but I don't. It's probably not too bad. It's mostly just better if you're trying to wave clear with it, which is pretty much what the item was intended intended for originally. So, Rude. I think that's fine. Um, Thorn Mail is getting a gold cut here. So it was 2,700. Now it's 2,450. Uh, the recipe, the recipe is changing a little bit, and then it's losing 200 health, which is pretty big. Uh, gaining eight, uh, 10 armor though, and then the thorns, uh, flat is up by five, so it was 10 thorn damage per hit. Now it's 15, but it is losing 10% of bonus armor scaling on that damage. So it was 25% bonus armor, now it's 15% bonus armor. So I don't know. I think it's a overall nerf, which I'm perfectly fine with. But um, it is a little bit more affordable for uh, supports, at least. I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, it might be nice because you might build this as like a engaged support quicker yeah. now. So yeah, Leona, I think it's Leona, that's fine. Or maybe Nautilus Alistair, I don't know. Yeah. Like that. Some, uh, yep. Uh, Rom, for sure. Rom, sure. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hollow Radiance uh, loses 50 health. Similar changes to Sunfire. It's got more flat emulate, but less scaling. Um, Desolate, 20, now it's 30, less scaling damage as well. And then the monster burn, or the monster bonus damage is up to 25 instead of zero. So uh, similar changes to Sunfire. Yeah. Basically. Not too bad, I think. No. That seems fine. Even better. <laughs> so yeah, it might be, might be better. That one might actually end up being the small buff. The small buff, yeah. Uh, Unending Despair uh, was 400 of health. Now it's 350, so down 50 health. And then it does get five extra armor, though. So that's pretty nice. Um, yeah, that's good, I think. Probably better, yeah. Force of Nature loses 1% movement speed. And Steadfast movement speed down 4%. Um, okay, that's fine, I guess. Yeah, just a little bit less quick. That's probably yeah. Um, Spirit Visage is going down 200 gold in cost, uh, losing 50 health and then 10 magic resist. But uh, I think overall it's probably fine. Definitely hurts, but um, it is a little bit cheaper, which is pretty good. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'd say it's good. Uh, Anik Rookin, Rookin. You have 100% health regen instead of 150, and 15% max health shield instead of 18%. Uh, you just probably fine. You'd probably still build this if you just want MR, like a bunch of MR resist. So, yeah, I think. I mean, it does hurt some, but I think it's probably fine. Yeah, definitely rough, but I think it's overall good or decent. Um, and then Deadman, Deadman's plate is getting 50 more health. Uh, 10 more armor, uh, losing 1% move speed, no one cares. Shipwrecker max move speed was 40, now it's 20, though. So, um, you don't get as much move speed, just overall. But it's a better true. item, I suppose, if you're not looking for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's see. Heartsteel. Everyone's favorite band, Heartsteel. <laughs> Um, giant spell, crystal and bracer, giant spell. So it's a double giant spell item now recipe, and <laughs> for that you get one hundred percent less health regen. <laughs> That's rough. All right. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess they're trying to break up hard steel. Um, yeah, just canceled. <laughs> Damn. Uh, Warmog's armor is going down one percent movement speed and also out of combat move speed. Um, so it doesn't, doesn't really matter, I don't think. No, I think it's fine. Uh, Jack Show, the Protean recipe is now Chain Vest, Negatron Cloak, and Giant's Belt. You gain 50 health, you lose 5 armor, and you lose 5 magic resist. So I think that's just worse. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely just worse. Um, but interesting. Um, all right, enchanter items. Here we go. Yeah, uh, Shirelia's battle song is getting one percent less move speed. <laughs> That's okay. fine, I think. Yep, that seems fine. You still have your active. Mm-hmm. Um, Echoes of Helia. You lose five ability power. You lose ten soul safe damage, and you lose ten healing. So, 
Uh, that feels bad. Everything about that's just earthed. <laughs> it's pretty rough. Yep. Moonstone Renewer, uh, down 5 AP, down 50 health, and then Starlight Grace. Let's see. Now it's 30 or 35% of heal slash shield. Yeah, instead of 40 to 45. This is just a nerf. big nerf. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. That's rough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's just a big nerf to Moonstone for sure. Um, mandate is down 50 gold, but the bonus movement speed, which that's whatever I think is not there anymore, but it is slightly cheaper, so okay. <laughs> You should, you should read this real quick. <laughs> the whole thing. All right, mandate is the first of two enchanter items whose insignia movement speed. It should be purchased as the most aggressive enchanter option, tailor made to bring down beefier targets. After all, it's called coordinated fire, not coordinated fire. Then run around quickly. <laughs> A cheaper price tag partially compensates for nerf and should make it more uh, appreciable. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's fine. Like I said, I don't even care about the movement speed, so it's whatever. Yeah, it's cheaper, so. It's fine. Fine. Uh, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Hard sensor is down by 100 uh, gold, and then uh, ability power is down by 5. Heal and shield power is up by 2%, uh, but move speed is halved as well, so not just 4% instead of 8. Uh, I think pretty fine. Yeah, I think that's fine. Yeah, That one seems fine. <laughs> uh, Staff of Flowing Water... Probably very similar to what they did with Arden, so it's cheaper by only 50 gold. You get 5 less ability power, healing shield power up to 10%. Uh, Rapid's bonus AP is up by 15, and they remove the movement speed. Um, so I think that's also just better. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty good. Yeah. Um, and then Redemption, uh, healing shield power is down by ten, by 5%, so it's just 10% there. Uh, that's, that's okay. Uh, this change is probably good. So, um, price of Dawncor is down by 200, 2700 to 2500. You do lose um, some of your ability power, but you were pretty much getting this because it was like a mini. When they did the remake a little bit ago, they made it kind of like an Enchanter Rabadons yeah, where it yeah. amped all of your heal shield. So, but it just it just is so hard to buy because of the price. So it's definitely going to be better that it's yeah, that, cheaper. That's definitely good for sure. Yeah, it's definitely going to be better. Nice. Uh, and then boots are up next. So we got Berserker Greaves. Uh, attack speed was thirty percent. Now it's twenty five percent. The item recipe is getting to be two daggers instead of one. Um, of course, you know the dagger change earlier is is cheaper, so that makes sense. Yep. 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 Uh, lucidity boots, yay! Inflation's down. Uh, it's nine hundred gold, but you do lose five ability haste. So, okay. <laughs> yep, and then inflation is up on Mercury Trades. Uh, plus oh, one. Oh, <laughs> All right. <laughs> and then the plated steel caps gets a little bit back. It's a uh, damage reduction, twelve percent instead of ten percent. So that's a buff. So yep. Uh, oh, rip Merc Treads. <laughs> pretty much <laughs> uh all right up next uh lethal tempo is coming back so we got runes here um, some changes here yeah so tempo change attacking an enemy champion grants a stack of lethal tempo for six seconds up to six stacks each stack grants five percent melee or slash four percent ranged attack speed at max stacks attacks also fire a note that deals wait, we're seraphine now yeah <laughs> uh that deals nine to thirty uh melee or six to twenty four ranged damage increased by one percent per one percent bonus attack speed so one to one ratio there um as bonus adaptive damage so just build a lot of attack speed right yeah <laughs> and then tracking lethal tempo now tracks how many of your just attacks against, cha against champions are perfectly timed perfectly timed uh means attacks launched within a quarter of a second of when your attack is ready after previously attacking a champion so okay. that's just for for fun people i think but um yeah I can't tell. Do you remember how much the old attacks uh, Lethal Tempo gave you? Because I thought it was like 54% to like 100 and something. But, uh, I think so. Something yeah. like that, right? And then 
Um, this one only gives you 30%. If I had 6 times 5, right? So Yeah. Uh, for melee. So I think it's kind of garbage. I think they need to buff it. But yeah. it does do yeah. a little extra stuff, I suppose. So. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I think it is not. It's definitely not as good as the old Lethal Tempo. No, I wouldn't say so for sure. But yeah, yeah. interesting. At least you do have that option now. So a little bit of extra attack speed. And then, Ooh. oh, you can do Presence of Mind. <laughs> uh, presence of Mind, Mana Energy Restore is increase be 1.5 to 11. And then 1.2 to 8.8 .8 for range. Um, or. 1.5 energy per second if you're an energy champ. So it's looking like it is overall probably a buff because it's giving you 6 to 50 or 4.8 to 40. So a lot more uh, mana energy restore. And then it's 6 energy or instantly instead of 1.5. So I think it says a buff overall. New model restores similar amount of mana for champions without being substantially stronger or very specific yeah. ones. I think it's a buff, but uh, this was over four seconds, so it did give you like four point whatever, you know, or like five mm -hmm. or six something. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think it's about the same, um, maybe even slightly nerfed, but the only difference is that it gives it instantly now instead of over four seconds, and then, yeah. uh, which is nice. And then it's more of like a kind of trade, you know, go in, t take a trade, and get your, your mana back real quick, and then go back out. Uh, instead of like a consistently just keep keep hitting keep hitting to do that, yeah, because um, it does have that eight second cooldown, so you can't just like keep rocking it really fast. Um, so it's interesting. I don't know. I feel like it's a slight nerf overall, but um, it's definitely just like a kind of a different playstyle, I think. So, yeah. yeah. So, yeah um, anyways, shield bash. Uh, so removed passive resistances when shielding are zero now, so you don't get that anymore. But uh, you get bonus health scaling was one point five one point five percent. Now it's two point five percent, and the shield scaling was eight point five percent. Now it's fifteen percent. So pretty pretty sizable there. Um, yeah. Nice kind of buffs, I think. I think so. Maybe. Yeah. 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 Um, this, I think, is nerf, mostly. Yes. Biscuits. Uh, they just don't give you mana at all, any way, shape, or form. So it's just yeah. uh, healing and max health on consumption. So, uh, I mean, I, I personally always got it for the mana. So I think it's... Yeah, I think most people uh, Yeah, I think most people do. So I think it's just... Uh, you won't see Biscuits taken yeah. that much anymore. You, you can stack a little bit of health, I suppose, but it's like nothing... Sure. <laughs> yeah, it's not really. Yeah. Uh, all right, Nimbus Cloak. Uh, movement speed was five to twenty-five percent uh, for two seconds. Now it is twelve to thirty-five percent uh, decaying over two seconds. So basically, what they said it's the overall distance it traveled is the same, but um, your initial burst of movement speed will be faster. So okay. uh, that's fine, I think. Yeah, probably. That seems fine. <laughs> Uh, split three quality of life updates so they have a bunch of stuff changing. So there's um, item shop and queuing. You can queue your next legendary item by right clicking it in the shop or selecting it in the shop and clicking queue item. Your queued item will appear on the HUD next to your gold amount. A progress bar will around the item queue will show you the gold you have versus the full cost of completing the item. The progress bar will glow when you have enough gold to fully complete the item on your next base. Right clicking the item queue will clear it. Left clicking the item queue will open your shop directly to the page of the queued item. And attempting to purchase an item you cannot fully buy will now purchase components of that item up to the amount of gold and item slots you have, starting with the most expensive available component. And then they moved the interaction button in the shop from the bottom right to the middle right, which is just slightly above it. And then yep. uh, various shop SFX uh, updates, sound effects. So, yeah, definitely interesting there. I don't know if you played around with that at all. Since yeah, it's kind of nice. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's nice to track like how much gold you need to back. Yeah, well, yeah it's exactly. not bad. And then there's a purchase reminder. So uh, leaving the base at the beginning of the game without purchasing items will notify you to purchase items. This notification can be dismissed manually or will automatically dismiss at 1 minute and 30 seconds. So that's a nice little thing. Uh, there has been some times I've done it, so <laughs> hopefully that'll catch me. And then um, jungle combat notification. So before 14 minutes, when a player enters champion combat in their own jungle, their team receives a light audio cue and mini map ping. This has a 20 second cooldown, so... 
uh, this is going to be nice for me for sure because uh, sometimes I'm focused on farming yeah. or something. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. sure. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty nice. I don't know if you've uh, experienced that a whole lot or not, but uh, not so much. This next one, I didn't, I haven't heard that either. The yeah, epic, yeah. Uh, epic, epic objectives, Spirits, dragons, yeah. uh, void grubs, rift herald have a global announcement banner and SFX when they spawn. Like I know it's happening, but I just haven't noticed it. So maybe um, maybe I just maybe it's one of those things where I just oh, this must have been here the whole time. But, <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, I guess it's nice to tell everybody that stuff is spawning. Yeah, be uh, t- helping everybody, everyone be more aware uh, yeah. <laughs> via the game. Uh, Tower Missile VFX. So um, Tower Missile VFX have been updated. They will glow progressively larger and more threatening to reflect the tower's This one's status. really good. This is one's it? really okay. good. I, I, haven't, I can't, didn't notice it yet, so I'm hoping. Oh, you will. Hoping you it's will. Nice. You will it. because kind of uh, <laughs> when the tower is like fully charged... It's like it's throwing the sun at you. It's a giant, <laughs> like fireball. Uh, okay. Yeah. Next. So you definitely know you're like, oh, I'm dead. I'm for sure dead. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. All right. Uh, tower plate and take down gold. To earn gold, you must uh, damage it personally within the um, last 10 seconds, not counting pets, and be within 2,500 units, or your submin Rift Herald cha- damaged it, but only for plates. Or you are within 1,200 units of the tower. That was the old version. Now it's you or anything you summoned damaged it uh, within the last sec- 10 seconds. Or you are within 1,200 units of the tower. So uh, I'm pretty sure this is just the same, but they like simplified how it works, sort of. Um, I'm pretty sure that's yeah. how it. Yeah, I think so. Uh, so yeah, yeah, there you go. Um, uh, potion highlights for players below level account level 11 health potions in your inventory will be highlighted when you are low on health and out of champion combat so nice for newer players to kind of let them know in case they weren't aware and then uh, there's ARAM changes there's bug fixes and quality of life changes um, Victorious Sona okay so that's not coming out yet but that's fine Or they're changing it or updating it. Okay, something like that. Uh, there's a World's 2024 Viego uh, splash footer error that they fixed, and then there's a bunch of other stuff they did. And yep, then yep, yeah, yep. we got Fright Knight Vagar here. Uh, that boy looking pretty cool, looking straight out yep. of uh, Tim Burton or whatever. Uh, yeah, that one's cool. <laughs> who is this? Annie? <sighs> Looks like Annie, maybe. No, it's so the one from I have of these skins. <laughs> The the new new skin looks like Annie. The Shaco skin looks like Fiddlesticks. <laughs> and the Prestige yep. Zeri looks like Jinx. Prestige. So. Yes, definitely. That's the same yeah. thing I thought too. So, yeah. so I, I got like, I, let's like go, yeah. another skin. I, I've never been more confused <laughs> like who these people are than <laughs> I was. Yeah. Very interesting. Uh, but yeah, they've got uh, Friday Night Pike as well, looking looking big, and then the 2024 Viego. Oh God, we're gonna yep. see more Viegos. Yep. <laughs> and then uh, Victoria Sona, looking looking slick. But yeah, other than that, uh, I think that's it for this patch. We've got some other stuff here as well. But yeah, thanks guys for watching. Um, what'd you think overall? Um, it's so hard to say because they nerfed and like. The item chain nerfs feel really severe. Yeah. But if every item's nerfed, is any item really nerfed? You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I guess. Ooh, it's hard. It's I, I would have to play a bunch of games to really feel it out. But at, like at first, I'm like, oh my god, all items suck now. But if they all are nerfed, then it might not be as big a deal as I think. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of a rough one. I don't really like it, but there's some things that were good. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, like one or two, one or two things. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for us today. Sorry, it's been an a hour and a half video, but <laughs> uh, it's a big one for sure. So let's jump into it. Thank you guys for watching again, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.